Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, today is Sunday, June the 21st, the end of the weekend, and I hope you all have a restful day. And it's 1037 a.m. And I wanted to share this with you, although I do not normally watch the mainstream media videos. This one is quite unusual. There are five people on a panel. You see all five faces, and they are discussing. It's called, this is what caught my eye. The five, they must have a regular thing. They, they're called the five. The five react to police calling out sick after murder charge in the Brooks case. Okay, now I just want to play for you the very last minute and 20 seconds. This is the last guy who hasn't said a word, and they asked him to finish it off with his opinion. And I want you to hear this for yourself, and maybe you'll want to listen. It's very, there, I was quite shocked, and I, and I wondered, you know, knowing what we know about mainstream media and how a lot of it is lies um, or at least twisted truth and a lot of it withheld and all you're seeing is their side of it and so it makes you believe their side of it and it's not the whole truth but I want you to listen to this guy just for a minute it's driving me crazy so they pick up on this pattern which is uh, you know the it's driving me crazy. Me go. Pumping out a video that is incomplete creates conflict. Okay, hold on. This video, the I gotta go back which is somebody else takes information between Dan Bond. I'm, I'm sorry. How many? This isn't justice has become in this country. Okay. It is. Greg Gutfeld, let's get some final thoughts from you. Well, what's, what's interesting to me is uh, how many. This isn't like the Floyd case. There were really stark differences of opinion about this video. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the ongoing debate between Dan Bongino and Geraldo. They both saw the video, and they disagree completely on it. And they're both very smart people. They're both friends. This is a microcosm of a nation that is arguing back and forth over a specific video, a video with incomplete information. You know, Jesse's right. Jesse is adding information. One adds information that somebody else takes information away. It's not like you're talking about the wardrobe malfunction at a Super Bowl where we can all chat about it. This video with incomplete information, which is which which incorporates malfeasance, incorporates intoxication, uh, and then you add this element of race. This is not like a fun, harmless discussion. This has this video, the one that the media just pumps out and floods the airwaves with so that we keep talking about it, it creates strife. It creates conflict. That's why I say Bongino and Geraldo are actually a microcosm of what to come because we keep pumping out a video that is incomplete in information. I've been noticing these patterns that the media does lately and it's driving me crazy. So they pick up on this pattern, which is, uh, you know, the police interactions that end tragically, okay? But there are other patterns that they are overlooking. I just noticed that almost every suspect that has been arrested for arson in these protests are white leftist women. What about that? So should we start doing large pieces about that trend? Or how about the last three examples that we've talked about of elder abuse of in the rest home when the young man beat that old el that elderly man or the two elderly the couple that were murdered in the cemetery or the 92 year old who was punched in the face in Br and I believe it was in the Bronx yep. or Brooklyn that we were going to do that story and it got bumped those are th okay those are three examples and I, we're all pattern recognition machines right so you see that and you go okay that's elder abuse but we don't do that story we have white leftists setting mm -hmm. fire to things arsonist but we don't do that story we only do what the media programs us to do and now that you see that you cannot unsee that you look at the statistics and you realize that we're being fed lies 
All right. Good discussion, everybody. I'm going to look up that Geraldo Bongino discussion. I haven't seen that. I haven't seen... I, I, I haven't seen that video he's talking about where the officer... They were discussing a video that someone took where an, one of the officers kicked the guy after he was already shot and then proceeded to do CPR, but yet that part wasn't shown. So, if he was running up to the guy and accidentally kicked him, and then they stopped it, but didn't show him scrambling to get on the body to do CPR. I could see where people would be in an uproar about that. The guy runs up and just kicks a dead body, and it quits. You see... That's what I'm talking about when you watch mainstream media. If they don't show the whole story, the whole video, you're going to react, aren't you? To, oh my gosh, he just kicked that dead guy, you know, or the guy that just got shot. You know, it's, it's going to make you think, how horrible was he? Well, anyway, they mentioned that, that the guy was... uh ran up to him, and then he said, if you watch the video, uh, you hardly even notice that once you see him get on him and do CPR. Well, he probably his legs were probably like this, and maybe he kicked the one and it knocked it over. I don't know, because I haven't seen it. If anybody knows about this video and where... Um, I mean, I could probably search for a day and not find it. I don't know. I might could. But uh, I'm fixing to go take a nap. My little doggie's got gotten a head start. Let me, let me show you. Yeah, let me show you. Oh. <laughs> you wake up too easy. I don't think you're asleep yet. Anyway, <laughs> isn't that sweet? He was, he seemed to be asleep. I know, he's looking at me now. He's ready to take a nap, so am I. Uh, I was trying to do some email and did some comments under the bell and got those caught up. So I, then I saw this and I had to watch it. And I thought, I'm going to share this one because it just goes to show you what goes on with mainstream media, and it's probably all the the MSNBC and the CNN and all those that are left, leftist, showing that video and cutting it off before the guy does CPR. I don't know. Has anybody seen the whole video? I'd sure like to see it. Well, with that, I'm going to say bye for now, y'all. I'll talk to you later.